Hey everyone, it's Pastor Schoen, and again, bringing you these midweek uh, devotions as we think about what our Savior has done as we celebrate his birth and the peace that that brings us. The, the verse that I'm going to read to you in just a bit comes from Colossians chapter 2, and it's a verse that talks about how Jesus canceled our debt. And maybe you have had that experience, I'm not saying where your debt has been canceled, but where it's been paid off, that car loan, that last payment, you finally paid it off, and it's almost like a day of celebration. You go, I'm free. I own it. This is mine. Or, or maybe your student loan, same idea. When you pay off that student loan that last time, it's almost like you want to go out and celebrate. Not that you have all this money at that moment, but you understand you are free from all the obligation of having to pay that every month. You are free from those costs. You are free from the weight and the burden that that can have on you financially. Paul uses that illustration of being under a debt or having a debt and an, an obligation. And that debt that Paul is talking about is the sin that we were born with and the sin that we commit. We were underneath the debt of sin. But Jesus came to free us. You see, we could not pay that debt ourselves. But Jesus did. With his innocent death and his resurrection, the debt the debt has been removed. In fact, Paul says it in a really striking way. It has been nailed to the cross. And so do you know what that means? That means it's stuck to the cross where Jesus paid it and not stuck to you. Listen to the words from Colossians chapter 2 and rejoice that your Savior has erased your debt, freed you from that burden, and given you life and peace. We read, He, Jesus, erased the certificate of debt with its obligations that was against us and opposed to us and has taken it away by nailing it to the cross. The word of our Lord. Amen.